Welcome to our latest video on Master Wealth. If you're looking to make the most of your money and achieve financial freedom, you're in the right place. In this video, we've got a few captivating stories that hold an essential financial lesson. So stick around because we'll also be sharing some of the best investment tips to help you manage your finances and live off your income. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's dive right in. Today, we want to share a story with you. A woman received a beautiful heirloom necklace from her grandmother, a family treasure full of sentimental value. To keep it safe, she decided to hide it in a secret compartment in her desk. Every morning, she would open the compartment to admire the cherished necklace. It brought her a deep sense of connection to her family's history and made her feel incredibly lucky. One day, a curious co-worker noticed her daily ritual and became intrigued. He decided to learn more and discovered the hidden location of the necklace. Driven by temptation, he went to the compartment and took the necklace. When the owner of the necklace returned and found it missing, she was devastated. She felt a mix of emotions, including anger, guilt, and despair, which led to uncontrollable outbursts. Another compassionate co-worker, hearing her cries and understanding her anguish, offered words of comfort. They said, In every life situation, there's a silver lining. Don't lose hope. I suggest finding a similar necklace, placing it in the compartment, and pretending the original one is still there. After all, when the heirloom was in the compartment, it was as if you didn't have it since you never wore or displayed it. This story imparts an essential financial lesson. Accumulating wealth isn't the ultimate goal. It's a means to an end. We must use our financial resources wisely and avoid letting them control our lives. Money serves three main purposes, saving, spending, and investing. However, saving money without enjoying it or sharing it with others can lead to missed opportunities or potential losses. It's crucial to strike a balance between saving and spending, ensuring our financial resources serve a meaningful purpose. In other words, saving money without a clear purpose can be counterproductive. Today, we'll share 9 of the best investment tips to help you manage your finances and live off your income. These tips are straightforward to follow, even if you don't have much financial knowledge. So, if you're looking to grow your money and secure your financial future, the first step is to focus on your job. Ever dreamt of quitting your job and living off your investments, having enough money to do whatever you want, whenever you want? Well, you're not alone. Many folks share this dream, but only a few make it happen. Why? Mainly because they lack a steady income and savings. They don't have a plan to grow their money or support themselves with their investments. And they might not even enjoy their job or earn enough from it. Finding a job you enjoy is the crucial first step to financial freedom. It's the main source of your income and your most valuable asset. The foundation for making, saving, and investing money. Without a job, building wealth and covering your living expenses with investments becomes tough. So, make the most of your job. Use it to reach your financial goals. Don't fall for the allure of quick riches through lotteries or get-rich-quick schemes. Putting your money into high-risk or unattainable ventures is a waste of both time and money. Avoid the temptation of one-in-a-lifetime opportunities. Instead, focus on steadily building a strong financial foundation step by step. That's the real path to financial independence. Remember, gaining control over your finances is a gradual process that requires time and patience. There's no magic investment that will make you wealthy overnight. So stay committed to your strategy and resist the urge to give up. In our fast-paced society, we often want instant results. But building long-term financial security takes time. Your job isn't just about making a living. 
It's a crucial step toward financial independence. You don't have to limit yourself to working for others. You can also work for yourself or start your own business. Having a clear plan for your future is essential. Determine where you want to be in a few years, a decade, and two decades from now, and set achievable goals to get there. As Steve Jobs famously said, since work takes up a significant portion of your life, doing work that you find fulfilling and enjoyable is crucial for true contentment. Another valuable piece of advice for growing your wealth and living off your investments is to save a significant portion of each paycheck. Imagine a life where you don't have to worry about money, where you're free to pursue your desires, and where you're not tied down to a job or a boss. Proper financial management can make this a reality, although it might seem too good to be true. The key is to set aside a substantial portion of your regular earnings and invest it in a way that generates additional income on its own. Earning money without actively working for it is known as passive income. Examples include rent, royalties, dividends, and interest. By building a diverse portfolio of passive income sources, you can cover your daily expenses, retire early, and chase your dreams. Both saving and investing require discipline, persistence, and some financial know-how. You'll need to cut your expenses, find ways to increase your income, and automate your savings. Before making financial decisions, assess your risk tolerance and the time you're willing to commit. Consider investing in dividend-paying stocks, which provide a portion of a company's profits even if you don't sell the stock. By purchasing more shares and reinvesting the dividends, you can grow your income. These stocks are often considered safer investments because they come from established and successful companies. Investing in dividend stocks can expedite your journey to financial independence by generating a steadily growing stream of passive income. Let's dive into the next piece of advice on growing your wealth, where we'll discuss the crucial difference between investing and speculating. Are you aiming for financial independence? If that's the case, it's important to grasp the distinction between these two approaches. Investing means putting your money into something that generates consistent income and long-term benefits. For instance, you might buy a property to rent out or invest in shares of a company to receive dividends. Speculating, on the other hand, involves taking a bet on something with the potential for quick gains. This could be buying shares that surge in response to recent news or trading in cryptocurrencies. Another key aspect is the time horizon. Investing is a long-term strategy, often spanning years, decades, or even a lifetime, like putting your money into an index fund for retirement. Speculating, in contrast, is more about anticipating events in the short term, from minutes to months. Risk is a critical factor as well. Investing typically carries a moderate level of risk, with a trade-off of lower potential returns. For instance, a 10-year bond with a 4% interest rate is a common investment choice. Speculation, however, involves higher risk and the potential for significant returns. Trading cryptocurrencies is a prime example, but it's important to be aware of the associated risks. While there is nothing inherently wrong with speculation, it's riskier than more conservative options. Balancing both approaches in your portfolio is advisable. Speculate with a small portion of your capital that you can afford to lose and allocate the majority of your savings to secure and reliable investments that offer long-term growth. This way, you can work towards financial independence more efficiently and with less stress. Now, let's move on to the next piece of advice, which will guide you on wealth building through investments and outline the risks associated with speculation. Are you comfortable taking financial risks? If so, remember to limit high-risk trades to a small portion of your capital to ensure sound sleep. 
The bulk of your funds should be invested in assets that can lead you to financial independence. It's wise to allocate more of your resources to investments and less to speculative ventures. Take the example of Elon Musk with a net worth of over $20 billion. In 2020, Musk entered the cryptocurrency market by purchasing substantial amounts of Bitcoin and Dogecoin. However, when the cryptocurrency market experienced a decline in 2021, Musk suffered significant losses. This illustrates that even successful entrepreneurs can lose money through speculation. It's a stark reminder of Warren Buffett's famous advice. Rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. The next step in understanding how to grow your wealth and eventually rely on your investments is to recognize how quickly your money can vanish. If you want to ensure your financial security, it's essential to make wise investment choices. Don't be overly optimistic and put all your money into a single investment strategy, job, or company, expecting it to last forever. Instead, save and invest wisely to safeguard your financial future. Keep in mind that businesses and investments must weather phases and economic cycles, and nothing lasts indefinitely. For example, the rise of digital camera and camcorder manufacturers and retailers, which enjoyed tremendous success in 2000s. However, with the emergence of newer technologies, sustaining a career in this industry has become extremely challenging. Think about the fall of Kodak, once a dominant player in photography, which was dethroned by digital technology, leading to its financial collapse in 2012. This illustrates how swiftly and drastically circumstances can change. The only way to prepare for the unexpected is to acknowledge that life is unpredictable. Even with a secure career, a person's financial situation can change rapidly. Imagine you're 40 years old with a well-paying job, allowing you to live comfortably while saving some money every month. But what if circumstances change in a few years? What if you lose your job and need to start over, potentially accepting a lower paying position or relocating to a new city? This is the time to make the most of your money and avoid squandering it. Instead of spending all your savings, we recommend diversifying your investments, including your emergency fund. The aim is to be able to cover your expenses with the returns from your initial investments, benefiting from compound interest that grows your savings over time. It might be a bit time-consuming, but the results are well worth it. The goal is to save during tough times, so you have a solid foundation to build on when the economy bounces back, much like a snowball rolling down a hill. Another essential point to bear in mind is that no one possesses a crystal ball to foresee the future. Predicting what lies ahead, even with the best information, remains an impossible feat. Accepting that you're fallible, regardless of your expertise or experience, is vital because market outcomes are ultimately determined by market forces. Consider Sarah's experience to understand how this principle operates in real life. Driven by her engineering background and a newfound interest in investing, Sarah had unwavering confidence in her stock-picking abilities. She brushed off the advice of seasoned investors and financial experts who warned against her conviction that she could accurately predict market behavior. However, when the market made an unexpected turn, Sarah suffered substantial losses. It was a valuable lesson teaching her the importance of maintaining a low profile and adapting to market uncertainty. Now, it's your turn to share your perspective. Do you agree that approaching investing with an open mind and a flexible strategy while respecting the market's prevailing wisdom is the wisest approach? How much value do you place on intuition and creativity in the realm of investing? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. The next step in your journey to build wealth and gain financial independence is recognizing that you must trust your own judgment. 
While financial advice from various sources may be well-intentioned, it's crucial not to rely too heavily on what you hear in the news, on social media, or from friends and family as they may not always have your best interests at heart or possess the expertise needed. Instead, conducting your own research and crafting a financial plan tailored to your specific needs is the way to go. After all, nobody wants to end up in dire straits. To prevent that, educate yourself about financial matters and seek guidance from experts. Today, thanks to the abundance of books, podcasts, and blogs, you can learn about managing your finances while enjoying the process. Enhancing your financial literacy brings several benefits. A deeper understanding of the market, the ability to identify potential opportunities and pitfalls, and the capacity to select investment options aligned with your goals and needs. This way, you can steer clear of scams and misguided advice and work towards securing your retirement and financial independence. Let's go over this example. John, a former builder, entered the investment world as a hobby in 2010 while working full-time in construction. He aimed to earn extra money for his children's education and home purchase through a combination of online courses, books, and videos. John mastered the fundamentals of investing. Over time, he developed an approach that matched his financial needs and risk tolerance. After making half a million dollars in a single year through his investments, John took a bold step in 2022 by launching Invest and Empower, an online educational platform where he imparts wisdom on making sound financial decisions. Many individuals have embarked on the path to financial independence through John's teachings. With a net worth now surpassing $1 million, John is widely recognized as an authority in personal finance. The lesson from John's journey is clear. Following your passions and developing your skills can pave the way to your goals. His story demonstrates that you don't need to be stuck in a career that doesn't fulfill you or hinders your potential. Instead, you can use your knowledge and experience to positively impact the lives of others, thus inspiring us to step out on our own and make progress towards success and fulfillment. Our next tip for accumulating wealth and securing your financial future is this. Your financial destiny is in your hands and you are the best person to manage it. Trust yourself and avoid entrusting your entire life savings to a manager, advisor, or agent. Instead, empower yourself by learning to manage your finances and other responsibilities. However, vigilance is key. In essence, even if you have someone else handling the calculations, you should understand what's happening with your money when you're overseeing a business. Staying informed is crucial for identifying issues and ensuring that everything remains on track. Blindly placing your trust in others can have disastrous consequences for your future success. In the event of their mistakes, you might be left to clean up the mess, such as dealing with tax issues that wipe out your earnings. And our final piece of advice for maximizing your assets and securing your financial stability is this. You and only you are accountable for your financial success and security. Don't be lured by the promises of cryptocurrencies that claim to skyrocket in value or YouTube courses guaranteeing instant riches. As the old adage advises, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Distinguishing between enduring investment opportunities and passing fads is a critical skill for any investor sparing you unnecessary stress and disappointment on your path to financial independence. Resist the allure of magic solutions that pledge rapid wealth. Thanks for watching Master Wealth. We're your go-to channel for money tips and financial know-how. If you liked this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Your financial journey starts here, so stay tuned for more helpful content. Take charge of your money and see you in the next video.